What's going on guys, Zio here from the Austin Nerd Show bringing you more DC Multiverse so we're continuing on with this new wave of the McFarlane DC Multiverse figures and this time we have the Collect and Build set as it's called with the Collect and Build Batmobile so you can kind of see the logo down here but on the side of each of the figures we get a little piece of it looks like the animated series Batmobile I'm not 100% sure on that but you get each three different pieces and you just pop them all together to build a little miniature Batmobile but the cool thing about this set though is the actual figure so we've got a Batgirl, a Nightwing and the Batman who laughs of course from the Batman metal stuff so it looks very cool and so each of these figures I really like a lot so Nightwing always looks cool especially when it's all black and blue outfit this Batgirl looks very cool it must be like a newer version of Batgirl I really like the outfit with the gray and the yellow it looks very cool I like that design a lot then of course the Batman who laugh is just like a creepy looking like Joker looking thing as Joker smile and the spikes all around just looks super cool and awesome and then you get the build a figure piece of the little car and stuff so we'll have to check that out but this looks pretty cool I'm excited to get into of course we'll look at their cards and everything they come up with the comic issue so we can check on the back there you can see there's the Batmobile design stuff and like the comic issue they come from so very cool and excited to get into this and I hope you are as well if you are let me know with a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button to see all the DC multiverse videos let's go ahead and jump into it and so here we got Batgirl starting off with it so this looks pretty cool I really like the look of this Batgirl I don't know if this is a more recent version of Batgirl because last time I saw she was looking as like the Batgirl Burnside type thing in the purple and yellow but I really like this look a lot I think it's really cool with the gray and the yellow and then of course the blue cape and and the weird small like cowl with the ears sticking out of her red hair looks very cool I really like this look and design a lot speaking of, as I mentioned so of course it is Barbara Gordon so she has her red hair so a long red hair flowing there and again I like the little mask reminds me of like the uh, Batman Returns Catwoman mask the like darker like purple or black lipstick there of course with the mask around her eyes with the two little bat ears sticking up in between her hair looks very cool then she has the blue cape on which I always like that's like a classic thing for Batgirls the blue cape and it's real like you know nice small cape and everything and then she's got an outfit on that's all gray gray Spanix there I even like the little yellow backpack there on her back that attaches into her yellow bat logo on her chest very cool for that she's got her utility belt that has you know like a bat looking design there for the buckle and then of course the little pockets and stuff and the yellow details onto it yellow gloves on there it even has you know like the little batman head there and of course the spikes coming off of it and then down to the boots where she even has the bat heads into the yellow boots has spikes coming off the back it looks very cool I really like this look a lot and I have her on the base just because they're a lot easier to get the stand when you put them on the base so it looks very cool so for moments though her head can twist around of course the hair probably gets in the way a little bit it looks like it can pretty much go all the way around which is pretty cool and for nodding so she can come up just a little again her hair does not allow it to go up any higher than that but then she can look down just a little bit so not too much range of movement in the head though she does have like a butterfly style joint there in her arm but again they're so minor on these figures it's kind of hard to really like see or tell her they really have any function they're just kind of there but their shoulders do come out it looks like a little bit over 90 degrees so that's pretty cool and can rotate around as long as it's you know the cape doesn't get in the way she does have the bicep twist and a double elbow joint which allows her you know get up really close and nice bend there and then the wrist can twist around and flex and again it's on a ball joint we have a little bit of an ab crunch and a tiny little twist there as well but then down at the waist it crunches again there's not a whole lot of move I don't know if it's just stuck or just the waist design but it doesn't move a whole lot going in there and not much of a twist at all so we don't have a whole lot of range in the midsection there then we have the legs that come up and again if you kind of twist them out they come up about 90 degrees but the way they're designed they go out to the side you know pretty much at 90 degrees we have a double knee joint again that allows the feet to come up pretty high there and then the foot is on a ball joint as well same as the hand so you can see the ball there so it has pretty good range of movement like that and then she also has the little toy joint there at the top so it looks very cool overall I really like the look of the Batgirl it's definitely very cool looking in my opinion at least but she looks cool she comes with some accessories so if you saw the last video where we did the Batman she's pretty much the same as Batman so she comes with the battering there same sort of design stuff it's just all silver this time Time. and then she also comes with the bat grapple so it looks very much more like an actual gun there and then it has the three-point grapple on the end of it and then the cords you know all kind of whirled up there like she just shot and stuff so that's pretty cool so they're kind of like that all for Batgirl we should hold it and then she also comes with the builder figure piece here of the Batmobile again I believe it looks a lot like the animated series Batmobile but nothing says anything about it so it just says Batmobile but I think by the look so we got that part there and from her cards we have card look there so she's from the art of crime is what the comic says so we flip around it says Batgirl girl number 27 real name Barbara Garn she's 5'9 and 140 pounds says by day Barbara Garn is bookish daughter of Gotham City Police Commissioner Jim Gordon by night Barbara dons the cape and cowl as Batgirl committed to justice like her father while her utility belt is equipped with
with batterings and crime-fighting gadgets, her greatest tools are her brilliant mind and her unwavering determination. Batgirl is an expert martial artist and gymnast trained in part by Batman, who's extremely athletic and agile. Her identic memory, heightened intelligence, and advanced knowledge of computers makes her a natural leader and skilled crime fighter. So that's pretty cool there for that Batgirl. Next up, we have Nightwing, which again looks very cool. Very just like classic basic Nightwing, though. Nightwing in the all-black spandex suit with the blue detailing. So we have the blue bird style design on there. Of course, we have the, like Nightwing or whatever. He's got the blue mask on. And then the blue down there around on his boots and everything. And then so it looks pretty cool overall. Just, you know, pretty much all-black outfit. Um, nothing too special, though, or anything. Just, you know, black spandex outfit. But we got a look at his face up there. So it has the hair, you know, all nice and like slicked over to the side. Again, it's got a little bit of blue highlighting details on there. Of course, I like the blue little mask, you know, to hide his identity and stuff. Then his outfit, of course, the blue like Nightwing bird stuff looks very cool. I always like that design. And I like it even goes over to onto his shoulders and around his back where he can hold his stick. So it's pretty cool that they've even attached that onto it there. And then going down, he's got some gloves on to have some blue, you know, on the knuckles there. And then he's got like the underwear style pants that look <laughs> crazy and don't look straight on him as well. A little bit crooked over to the side. And then the black continues down again, like I said, to the boots. Right at the top of the, like the tall boot, he has the blue details there as well on his shins. So very cool looking. I like the look of Nightwing a lot for this. For movements though, so it's going to be the same. So they can twist around and again, not too much range of movement there in the neck. Shoulders with the butterfly joints. So it looks like nothing new is going on there. Double elbow joint, the same wrist. He has the abs again that don't allow for much crunching there. You can just kind of get a little more, but it has some twist in there like that. And then of course at his waist there has some additional little crunch and a little bit of a twist. Going. And the underwear of course covers up a lot of the details stuff there in the center, but the legs as well can come up a little bit out to 90 degrees there, kind of high. And a little bit out to the side, he's there kind of stiff, so not too much. Double knee joint as well. And then the foot, same as Batgirl, so on the ball joint stuff with the toe flex and everything. So nothing different really going on there. Nightwing comes with a battering as well. So it's an all black and it's nice like sleek version stuff, but it, of course they're super fat though. It's kind of weird. And then he also comes with his two baton sticks here that will stick in his hand. Of course it can go on his back as well. Or just in his back because his hands are stiff again and so I can't get them into his hands, but they go into his back like that and look pretty cool sticking over the back of him there. So that looks pretty cool for that. Then we got his card. So there's a look at Nightwing from Better Than Batman. And from the back it says Nightwing number one. His real name is Dick Grace, of course, Richard. He's 5'10", 175 pounds. Says Dick Grayson began his crime fighting career as the original Robin, Batman's protege and crime fighting partner. An expert acrobat and skilled fighter, Dick eventually left the nest and ventured out on his own as a new hero called Nightwing. His childhood experiences as a circus acrobat and trap these artists make him extremely agile. He is a superior fighter and highly skilled martial artist who has been personally trained by Batman. Nightwing is a keen detective, a natural leader, and a strategist with advanced knowledge of a variety of technologies. So pretty cool there. And then, oh, and it also comes with the center part here of the Batmobile thing. So there's like the front of the look of it and everything. And that's gonna be it for Nightwing. And our last character is the Batman who laughs. So again, very creepy looking character here, but very cool overall as well. So again, there's a look at his face. So his big Joker style smile going on there. These are from like the Batman metal comics and stuff. Again, it's like, so it's supposed to be like different, like Joker version almost of Batman. I like the metal ring there around his head that has the spike coming off of it. That also has the points coming up for like the cow ears and stuff. So that's pretty cool. All black leather outfit. So again, nice big old bulky leather stuff with all boards, the straps and everything going on there. It looks pretty cool and crazy. And leather underneath it coming down to his hands where he's got the white gloves on, some straps there around his wrist and everything. Of course, the coat hangs down off the back. So it's supposed to be, you know, kind of like his cape and everything all nice and tattered there at the bottom. And he's just got some leather pants on down to the high boots there so they got them all the way up to his knee pretty much and then have the strap on it there some very like metal looking boots on so very creepy looking overall but very cool as well so for his joints it's pretty much going to be the same so we don't really have to look at much again he has a coat on so he doesn't you know can't really see his joints there and his abs stuff but he does have you know just a little bit you can get some movement in there but in that everything else is going to be the same so he has yeah, the same shoulder joints double elbow wrist of course we're hiding all the ab stuff legs and double d's and then the feet yeah so everything going to be exactly the same on him. He just looks very cool. So this is mostly just a look at figure. His accessories though come with some cool stuff. So he's got some nice knives here. So he has what looks to be a kind of like a small little scythe thing and then a big nice blade. So of course we could probably stick him in his hands but as everything else has gone so far I can't get anything into their hands because they're so stiff. So unfortunately we won't be putting that in. And then he also comes with the build a free piece for the rest of the Batmobile. So we got the right side over there for that. And then we have of course his card. So there's a picture of him. The Batman who laughs. It's from the Batman who Life's number one. He's Bruce Wayne of Earth 22. He's six foot two, 190 pounds. Says, born from a nightmare of the dark multiverse, the Batman who laughs is a hybrid version of the Batman and Joker from Earth 22. The twisted version of Batman was created when Na 
nanotoxins from the Joker's heart were released into Bruce Wayne's bloodstream, causing the Dark Knight's perfect mind to merge with the warped psyche of the clown prince of crime. He soon became part of an attempt to plunge the entire multiverse into ultraviolence, chaos, and utter darkness. After being initially defeated, the Batman who laughs managed to survive and remains a threat to the greatest heroes of the multiverse. So very cool there for that Batman who laughs. And that finally brings us to our little bit of figure here of the Batmobile. So again, we can just easily pop this stuff together. They should just pop right in like that and pop on the other side. They're just like that into the little Batmobile. So again, it's nothing too special. You usually get, you know, an extra figure or something. But I think with what um, I think Todd McFarlane mentioned that he wants to do just these Batmobiles to so just make all sorts of different Batmobiles as these like builder figures. So you can just have little like, you know, Batmobiles. I mean, it'd be better just, you know, have like a Hot Wheels toy or something because this is just all kind of cheap plastic and kind of seems like it could break pretty easily and everything. But it looks pretty cool. So there's a look at the back with the thruster engine. Again, like I said, by the way, it's design reminds me a lot of the animated series but I have no clue if that's what this is from or not I didn't look it up but it looks pretty cool but like I said kind of pointless though I mean unless you really like Batmobiles and there's look at the front of course with the like the bat face and eyes and stuff like I said looks cool but it's just yeah, I don't really see the point of this too much but it looks pretty cool overall so that's gonna be it for another little part here of the new DC multiverse way from McFarlane where we got the Batgirl Nightwing and Batman who laughs that had to build a figure piece to build this little Batmobile vehicle so pretty cool overall again I don't I just can't like fully detail whether I like like these or not I think they look good I, so the joints aren't bad or anything it's just like how I can't get stuff into their hands hardly very much it's really annoying so I probably have to do something like heat them up and stuff and get their hands to open to put weapons in and then with the ball like little ball joints and stuff they don't stand too well so that's why we definitely need these bases on so I'm glad they included those but they still can fall over pretty easily so other than that I think they're pretty good so it's just the ball joints unfortunately and then the issue with getting weapons in their hands is really all I have but let me know your opinions down in the comments below and let me know who your favorite character of this set was so do that down in the comments leave a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel thank you all so much for watching stay awesome and i'll see you next time